I want you to take a look at this photo here. This veteran's dog ended up at the Humane Society while he's currently working with the military overseas. And the family who adopted her is refusing to give her back. New at 6 ABC Action News reporter Carson Chambers explains how this controversy started. Carson. Right in this U.S. Army veteran is over in Kuwait. He's working on a military base as a contractor. He left his dog Precious with a friend here in town until he could get back. But he says that friend's new girlfriend dropped the dog off here at the Humane Society as a stray. She was the runt of the litter. Nobody wanted her. Precious is not a word beauty would think would come out of Michael Tackett's mouth. But Precious is his dog's name. The dog means a lot to me, more than, than, than anybody really understands. I would not be going through all this trouble trying to get her back. Takis served six years in the U.S. Army, deployed multiple times overseas. The veteran now works in Kuwait as a military contractor. You know, my mom passing while I was deployed, 13 or 14, and the dog was a huge help, huge help. Um, it stopped me from zoning out. It, it stopped my anxiety almost completely. Takis got Precious as a puppy, and they bonded quickly. You happy? You had a good time? But when he left for Kuwait in December, a friend agreed to keep her until he got back. Instead, he says, the friend's girlfriend dropped Precious off at the Humane Society of Tampa Bay as a stray on December 11th. If this beautiful dog had been microchipped, and we could have immediately contacted the rightful owner or the original owner and, and made a reunion happen. Instead, a Tampa family adopted Precious, took her home, and when the Humane Society let them know what happened, they decided to keep her anyway. I'm trying hard right now as we speak, you know, not to tear up and uh, to hold it together, and it's difficult. Takis is offering the family $1,000 and to pay the cost for another dog adoption. I would ask them uh, to please consider my offer. Um, Christmas isn't here yet. They still have a chance to you know, use the money to buy some, some gifts to compensate, you know, for what happened. I still have hope. Um, I'm, I'm very determined to get her back home. And Takis is really hoping that family reconsiders uh, giving her back. He wants them to know that she is allergic to grain-free food, uh, that her birthday is October, uh, rather August 22nd, and that she likes to sleep in the bed and that she's an inside dog. Live in Tampa, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.